Hi everyone, I'm Brett McCrae here with your Farm and Ranch news from the Northern Ag Network. The most prevalent factor behind the cattle cycle is always the size of the U.S. cow herd. Cattle Facts reports that several factors have led to continuously decreasing cow inventory since 2019. The beef cow culling rate has been elevated over the past five years and reached a record high in 2022. The number of beef replacement heifers has declined by over a million heads since 2018. And weather is another major factor behind shrinking cow inventory in the U.S. Drought has limited the ability of producers to restock herds even as hay supplies have increased. The experts say that although price signals will encourage herd expansion, multiple factors pose challenges and will likely restrain producers' ability to increase herd sizes. USDA's cattle inventory report today will provide the latest information on the beef cow herd in the U.S. U.S. beef carries a premium rep reputation for quality and safety in markets around the world, but that hasn't always been the case. When American beef first re-entered the Korean market after a lengthy BSE-related closure, the industry needed to rebuild Korean consumers' confidence in the safety of U.S. beef. The latest consumer survey results compiled through a Gallup poll conducted by the U.S. Meat Export Federation show remarkable progress. Nearly two-thirds of the country's population believe U.S. beef to be safe and intend to purchase it. Over the last two years, Korea has been the number one value market for U.S. beef. We're back in an hour with your egg markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always going to be another something. I grew up in a generation of you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps. But it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps. If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana Ag Producers. Hello everyone, Brett McRae back with your Ag News and Markets. Cash cattle trade was higher last week, but feeders still found themselves in the red. According to the Sterling Beef Profit track, Tracker, cattle marketed last week had a break-even of $181.68 per hundredweight, and feeders experienced per-head losses of $84. The estimated total cost for finishing a steer last week was $2,543 a head, 15% higher than last year at this time. Meanwhile, beef packers saw an improvement in margins and actually made, made the black last week, making about $39 a head. Last week, cash cattle trade moved higher, $1 to $2 better for live cattle from $174 to $177, and $3 better for dress, on the dress basis from $275 to $278. Down in Torrington at the bread cow special, two to four year old bread cows averaged just under $2,550 a head, five to eight years olds at $2,338, and short term cows from $1,826. At the Newell Sheepyard, 60 to 69 pound feeder lambs sold from $239 up to $261 last week. And finally, grain and soybean commodities traded higher yesterday after an off start to the week Monday. Outside market news had traders spooked to start the week with some liquidation in futures. And for winter wheat, traders can't help but notice the sharply higher crop condition ratings compared to last year, especially in the southern plains. That's all for your egg report. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.